starting in June, you could start writing your personal statement. Your personal statement for both the UCs and private colleges is essentially the same thing. If I paraphrase, and I only paraphrase this, essentially it is, what has happened in your life that has made a difference or made you who you are today, i.e. a challenge, an obstacle, or a risk you've taken. By writing that general essay and starting to write your drafts in June and July, you'll be much more prepared going into school, and you can shape that essay to work for most every school, the main essay. So yes, it's important. The other part for juniors is you need to decide based on now you'll have your test scores back, and you'll have your grades, you put them together and you start deciding what is the list of schools that I may want to apply to. Also strategizing, am I going to take the ACT in September, so I'll, may, I'm, I'll start signing up for that in July. Do I want to take the SAT in October? I still have November and December to take more tests. What is my game plan as far as schools I'm going to apply to? What does that list look like? And then what is my testing schedule going to look like as far as that? July 1st, if you're going to apply to any private schools, the common application becomes available. So you create a login, your username and password. You go in and fill in all your personal information. And now you start checking boxes of the schools that you may want to apply to that are private. And that application now is available. So you can go on there and start filling in all the, material, all the answers to the questions that you need to for that application. There's, there's a lot to do in June and July. 